Some very encouraging news and good to know that it does come from our very own backyard. Well, well done to all of the team that is involved there. Now, before we get cooking in the kitchen, remember that Woolies have partnered with Gift of the Givers to distribute food care packs to families in need, filled with a balance of protein, there's fresh fruit and vegetables and other staples, as well as hygiene products. Now, you can help someone in need today by scanning the QR code on the screen with the SnapScan app on your phone, or you can use your own banking app and, of course, donating whatever you can towards filling a bag. As little as 10 Rand would provide one person with three meals for a day. Think about that. How incredible is that and the daily difference that you can make to someone's life. There's really no amount too small. Now, first up on the menu today in the kitchen, we're making a grilled bro broccoli steak for lunch. And uh, so that should please you very much. It pleases me because I've been very much on like a very uh, green vegetarian, I don't want to say full-on vegan, but mm -hmm. vegetarian kind of way of doing it. Are you a flexitarian? I think I am. I'm yeah. more of that leaning towards the greener side of things. Okay. This dish is a marvel. It'll change whatever uh, lingering thoughts you may have about vegetable forward dishes. Uh, broccoli steaks are beautiful. Uh, broccoli anything. In fact, yesterday I had uh, pea and ham soup with yes. broccoli and cauliflower. Just That's... Yeah, that's good. I was like, I felt so good. But it also eating. fills you up, right? Absolutely. And it makes yeah, you yeah. feel like you've like like you've had a good meal. Phew, you but understand yeah. me well, well, Chip. Yeah. Him very well. So we're going to take this beautiful broccoli mm -hmm. and transform it. So besides I, I love meat, right? I yeah. love meat. I mean I could cook meat all day, all day, like every day. Just yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I do know that eventually my body is like, yo, 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 yo. Actually. Something green. Let's just lay off on, on like yeah, the, the yeah, yeah. for a bit. And I like going to like these type of recipes that like replicate the textures and the smells and the flavors yes. of like steak. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna treat our broccoli like we would a steak today. We're gonna make a broccoli steak. Okay. So I'm gonna cut like a nice big chunk of it. Now broccoli. I wish there was a way of avoiding that though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was about to say now. The truth of the matter is, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get like two decent steaks out of it, and you get all these little bits of here. Yes. But I like that. Mm -hmm. So what's, what you're gonna do? Let me just first season and get it on the grill pan for you. Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen is it's gonna grill at different like degrees. So the beautiful steaks are gonna like take a little longer to grill, mm -hmm. but the little bits, the little ones that they're gonna go on, they're gonna start going charry and beautiful and dark, and that's great. Mm -hmm. They have the combination of texture. So you got this beautiful, beautiful steak that's gonna start doing its thing. You whacked it up nice and high. I turned it down because I was smoking a bit. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is you let it go. Actually, I like the fact that it's not that sizzling hot just yet. Yeah. There's a lot of moisture inside that um, broccoli. That broccoli, yes. You don't want to accelerate it too much because then you get a very charred outside. Oh. And then your inside's still a little bit cold and chalky and you don't want that. Okay. I mean, okay. raw broccoli is really, really great. But it you is. want to try and like, simulate that steak flavor. So get it like a nice medium low heat and then work it up. So okay. Turn it up okay. now. And I'm hearing a sizzle start. Get go. the little there bits on there already. Oh, get the little bits there. Get, it, get wow. them on, get okay. them on. Okay, good. So pepper, no. Pepper no. comes on at the end. Not during. This is, this is very important for steaks as well. When you're grilling, especially on a griddle pan, add your steak afterwards. Peppers have oils in them. So yes. you, and especially on a grill pan, you're working with like higher heats. Yes. You're gonna burn those oils. Have you ever bitten a peppercorn and it's more bitter than it is actually spicy? Yes, yes, yes. It's because the pepper's been added too soon. So we can hit it with a fresh pepper at the end. Almost okay. Tastes, then, then it's got like a beautiful fresh flavor of pepper. Okay. But salt, yes. Get that salt on there now. The salt also helps draw out some of the, some of that moisture and it's a little steam as it cooks in that liquid. Wow, cooking yeah. is so much of a science. You've got to think about every element of it. But I mean, it's, it's so easy because once you've been doing it for a while, you start using your senses. Yes. And then it just makes sense. And you just understand like the basic principles of cooking. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know what? The next, next, next thing you're on TV, <laughs> cooking on espresso. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, just, just do it. So yeah. That's how you transform your life. That's exactly, that's exactly how right. it happened. So what do we have going on next? I'm I make see a beautiful some anchovies butter. and I see some beans. beans. So beans are great, especially like you said that you had this very big hearty dish yesterday. Yes. Incorporating beans and legumes and pulses into your diet, especially if you're trying to like do like maybe two days of the week without meat, but you still want to get that fulfilling like feeling yeah. of it, beans are great. They'll fill you up, they give you a bit of protein, they make you feel like you've had something. A really bit, healthy. a lot. Of, a lot. Of, a lot of protein. A lot. Of, good fiber as well. So let's do this. I'm going to show you how easy it is to transform beans into something really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. Go with a little bit of olive oil in your pan. So I learned this from Raul. Olive oil is really great. We're talking about male grooming. Yes. So like a little man tip right now. What's broccoli, that? great for increasing testosterone. Broccoli, yeah. Broccoli, same as olive oil. So incorporate really? that olive oil. And, and you know what? We, we were talking about this earlier. Like good olive oil is really great. Like invest in it because you don't use a lot. Olive oil goes a long way. So Wow. So if you're really looking to get the most out of your workouts and you want to boost your testosterone levels in converting all of that protein into muscle, then you might... Uh, yeah. Want to do all of that. Thanks a lot, Ryle. That Gee man. Whiz. That man. It was his birthday yesterday, you know that. It was his birthday yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Man, listen, your, your chopping skills there were just insane. I, I can't believe I just glossed over that. Can I do but, it again for you quickly? Please. Because there's some, there's some crucial tips there, what you're going to do. What you're going to do, first of all, okay, cut a nice, you make sure that your, your onion is nice and stable, right? So you always make sure when you're chopping your onion, it's not wobbling, flying around the place. Yes. It's a great, nice, nice flat base. Fingers in, tuck it in nicely, get a tiger, nice... Tiger claw. Tiger claw. Ah. It's serious, though, because ah. this will prevent you from getting injured. Ah. Tiger claw. Sharp, sharp, sharp knife. So I've got a sharpening steel, and I use a sharpening steel. Yes. But you can use the back of a ceramic cup. Just run it along the back. The of back ceramic. of a ceramic cup. Yeah. It's also like your teacup. Like a teacup. The unglazed the bottom. Yeah, at yeah. the bottom where it sits this down. Just like run it on there, and you'll see. That's a, that's enough. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fingers yeah. in, nice and sharp. Start off slowly, and then turn to the side, and you just go. No, don't turn to the side, yo. Don't that's turn insane. To the side. Start, sort of slowly, get the motion of the ocean, and then you're good. And then just keep on going. Eventually, you'll get faster, you'll get faster, you'll get faster. Da, 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 that's, da, da, da. that's all you need. That's very impressive. Now, a little bit more oil, because I can see my onions need it. Beans are really great, right? But there's a little skin on the outside of the beans, but you can use that to your advantage. If you actually add it to the pan, and you start searing it in the olive oil, yeah. the outside of the bean goes crispy, the inside goes soft and fluffy. Get that texture on there. Wow. So let those beans fry. What are you even talking about? Just this like is a that. master class. Look at that. Get a go. Fuck them beans. I know you don't like anchovies so much, right? Me? Do you, oh, do you love them? I'm, I'm cool with them. Like, oh. they, they, they offer that extra saltiness. I, I wouldn't go overboard. But they're but... great. And they melt into a sauce so perfectly. And people are like, what's that flavor? And you just don't tell them. You just don't <laughs> tell them. You just say, Salt. ah, it's just like, you know. Salt. <laughs> whatever. And then, yeah, but it adds umami to it. It takes beans to like. Umami. Ah. Umami, absolutely. Let those beans start like melt, they will melt. Oh, wait, for those that don't understand, what is umami? Okay, so you can taste sweet, sour, bitter, what, what, saltiness, right? It's all in the centers in your mouth, but we actually realize there's another one. I'm missing one. I know it's, I'm missing something, but anyway, this umami basically is the savory note that your tongue tastes that makes you want more. Oh. It just makes you want more. Like, it's like, a, a, yeah, you find a little tomato. Soy sauce. So every time somebody steak. says, the Bruce is noch, that's what they're talking then about. They're saying it's it umami. It tastes like umami. There tastes we go. <laughs> so, a bit of butter going in there. Yeah. And you can give it a good toss again. That's and then good. what's going to happen now, we've created that crust on the outside of the beans on the skins. Yeah. But now we've added that butter, it's going to start kind of becoming very creamy. Oh. It's going to start melting. Oh. So, like literally, let the butter just melt through. How's our steak doing, by the way? Let's have, let's have a look at them. I can smell them. Yeah. Again, using your senses in the kitchen. Look at that, we've got a bit of a char starting on there. Lovely, lovely. The little ones, I can see, they can okay. go for a little bit and longer. And then once you've got a couple of them going, yeah. you're going to have a bed of that bean, onion, Absolutely. anchovy um, on your plate. Steaks over it. Is, that, bit of, is that mint? A little bit of mint. Contrasting oh, wow. flavors because we've got that saltiness of the anchovy. Okay. The freshness of that mint. There right you have it. Dish, uh, flavor. Check out, check out the recipe on expressoshow.com. Chef Clem, thank you very much. Thank you. Delicious. Um...